In this video, I'm going to show you how to update COE starter kit. Uh, now, the first step in updating the COE starter kit is to navigate to the correct environment. And also ahead of time, you need to uh, download the latest version of COE starter kit. So Microsoft releases a uh, COE starter kit version every month. So every month there might be some changes in uh, different components uh, within Center of Excellence starter kit. So uh, <clears throat> you might find, uh, say, the core components being updated in one month and maybe an audit logs component be updated in the another month. Or maybe you might find all the components being updated in like in subsequent months. Uh, so uh, how do you track the version number? So if you go to make.powerapps.com, as you can see in the screen over here, uh, you'll be able to see the uh, version number in the solution section okay so the version number for center of excellence core component is 4.13 so what you need to do is like once you download the latest uh, coe starter kit setup uh, you need to check whether the version number uh, is uh, ahead of what is installed within your environment so if it is 4.14 then make sure that you update that to the latest version if it is not you can just leave it as it is Okay, so the main goal is to uh, navigate to make.powerapps.com, go into the correct environment and click on import solution. Uh, and once you browse through that, uh, through a specific uh, components, like say core components, you just need to match the version number and it will be a complete overwrite of the earlier solution if there is an update. Okay, so uh, as you see in my screen, um, I'm in make.powerapps.com, I'm in the solution section, and I'm in the right environment, as you see from the screen over here. Now, uh, what you need to do, you need to first check the version number, and uh, you just download the COE starter kit zip file. Uh, I have downloaded the COE starter kit zip file for August 2023. I'll click on import solution, and then it will ask me to browse through the solution. Then I click on browse, and then I will check for COE core components. What is the version? So it is 4.13, so I need not update it now. I, as I have already updated, so it is showing me the same version number. But if this version number is, say, 4.14 or 4.15 or later than that, then you just select it, and then the solution will start uh, updating. Now, you need to do it individually for all the solutions, so core components, Nurture components, innovation backlog, audit components, ALM accelerator, and admin task analysis code. And once the solution is updated, it will give you a message that the solution has been updated successfully. If it is so, uh, then you can uh, start updating other components as well. So that's it, folks. It's a simple process of uh, overwriting the existing solution on top of another, uh, and all your apps will then start showing you the latest updates. Thanks for watching.